you asked me once about this memory. I lied. I told you it was lost. I worried the wrong lesson would be learned. But this man lived many lives, and he has much to teach us. Of course, when he came to us, he was little more than a common thief, scrambling to survive on the streets of Baghdad, dreaming of a better future. Not just for himself, but for all those he saw suffering on the margins. For while he lived in a golden age, at the heart and the height of the Abbasid Caliphate, scratch its gilded surface and you'd find a rot beneath. The Order of the Ancients fought to rise and spread their cruelty through the land. The Hidden Ones, as we were known then, resisted. Striking at our enemy from the shadows, an eternal struggle. Centuries ago, he was at its heart. Basim ibn Ishaq. He honored the creed. He challenged it. So must we. We have it in all of us to mistake the shadows we walk for the light we serve. The time may come when we will be tested as he was. I fear that time is coming soon. Basim, breathe. Was it the jinni again? And what did our friend want this time? To strip the flesh from my bones? Dine on my innards? Never has much to say, yet it leaves its mark. I can still feel it crawling on my skin. Hardly original. You should tell it as much. Forget the jinni for the moment. The day is new. There is work to be done. Durwish has left another contract. Who for? Them again? We would make more money selling water to a camel. <sighs> Come, Nihal. Where is your sense of duty? Duty does not fill our bellies. No, but it does enrich the soul. I will be outside. I told Nihal this would be impossible to sell when she stole it, but she could not resist. Wonder what it is about these ancient baubles that fascinates her so. Kick up some sand, Basim. Cheap jewels and tarnished coins. The spoils of a rogue's life. It takes but a few simple tools to build the greatest of mosques. You said we have a contract. Let us honor it. Yes, yes, I am coming. I hope you continue to share your wisdom, Father. Wherever you are. The sun casts a long shadow. Let us not keep the wish waiting. I cannot bear another lecture. These contracts. It is quite a few Darwish has pushed your way now. He knows I will come through. You have his trust. That much is clear. 
Do you suppose you have theirs? These shadowy types? I should hope so by now. <laughs> then they should show it. You take all the risk and they offer little in return. They are liberators, Nihal, not merchants. I know the stories. Still, the price of liberty should be enough to feed us. contract. I do not want you to mistake my words for pestering. I am only looking out for you, Yasadiki. It is no inconvenience to stand up to our oppressors as the Hidden Ones do. Do you think yourself some hero of tomorrow? The next Gilgamesh? No. I am merely the son of a public servant who dedicated his life to the betterment of his people. Only to be slighted and forgotten. But, I am honored you think I could reach such heights. I may just aim for them. That is not at all what I said. It is what I heard. Such crowds. Something important must be happening. The Khalifa has been summoned to the Winter Palace. It is surely his wealthy retinue that drives this crowd. Perhaps they're in the mood to offer donations. Ah, I see your meaning. A little sleight of hand to sharpen our wits. If this contract will not feed us, the Hilafa might as well. That merchant has left his purse on the table. An easy one to begin with. Better leave before they notice. Ready yourself. I will pick them out. A keen eye and an agile hand. A formidable duo. Hmm. There. The voice just won. He must have something of value. Sneaky, sneaky. And over there, by that stall, she's got some coin. Well done. You truly are the master thief of Anwar. Is that jealousy, I hear? Hardly, O oh great looter of purses. Insufferable. Come, we are late to Durwishes. Huh? 
Ja. Well met. They are all looking spry. I wonder what Good tales we hear today. Tall ones, most certainly. Come here, come here. the Khalifa has arrived with his court. Have you seen them? I have not. Though I did meet some of his merchants at the markets. I saw them up close. Al Mutawakil is much, much larger than I had imagined. A towering man indeed. Of course. He gorges on food served with the finest spices you and I can only hope to one day taste. I heard whispers of an important visit, but I cannot say from whom. I am sworn to secrecy. Let me guess. Hala, the palace guard's daughter. What? How did you know? I know where you really go when you say you are fetching water. She is kind, a good friend to you, and maybe more someday. Oh, Basim! I am serious. She will keep you out of trouble. You could use that. See you, Fahmi. <laughs> Steal anything good today? I mean, how is your knee? Much better, Basim. Wrapped it and rested a few days, like you said. Good. So long as each day is better than the last and you take care not to extend yourself, you will recover fine. Has this happened to you before? Is that why you know how to treat it? I am no stranger to scrapes and bumps, but I have learned to prevent them. And so should you, if I may. Your sandals are worn and cannot grip the ground. Your knees are taking the brunt of your movements. We need to find you something better. Something that fits. But that part is not so easy. The mosques have plenty. I am sure to find a better pair there. Uh, if you will not pass judgment. Ha! Do not look to me. That will be between you and Allah, ya Sadiqi. Here is the lazy boy. I've been waiting on you. Someone has to plan our meals. <laughs> oh! Food. I would not flaunt that around the markets. <laughs> Trust me. Go to Zahida's. <laughs> she uses lots of butter. That she does. You look weary. Are you well? It is nothing a little adventure will not fix. What do they need? A shipping ledger at the harbor. It is worth nothing by itself, but the information it contains is valuable to them. This is child's play. Do they not have anything more difficult? I can do more. Never mind your ego. The Khalifa's cards are here in number, and you would do well to remember that. You worry for me more now than when we lived in Baghdad. My worry is the same. I've only grown too old and too tired to hide it. Bring the ledger back here and do it swiftly. We have not talked about my fee. And we won't. Not until the deed is done. You know how they are. Shocking. He is just a messenger. And you are still an errand boy. You can do this one on your own. I'd like to steal a sword or a helmet. Mutia, 
Where has your smile run off to? What has happened? I do not want to talk about it. Ah, but I refuse to leave until you do. We need someone to offset the grouchy winds that billow from Durwish's quarters. Is he responsible for the clouds that hang above you? He shouted at me. Called me a harebrained miscreant. All because I roused a few guards who were pestering me. Harsh. I would have done the same as you. Do you think he will tell me to leave? Ah, Mutia. You do not know him as well as I. So I will only say this. Durwish may appear rough, but he has a soft underbelly. He's only trying to protect you. Still, some retribution is in order. What can we do? What can we do? Ah, tomorrow, when all is quiet, we will sit on a nearby rooftop and stone his walls while he tries to sleep. A brilliant idea. See you later, Basim. You are on your own, Basim. Did they say anything else about the ledger? Or why they want it? Uh, I tell you what they tell me, Basim. As always, it's just enough. Why are you asking? Huh? I would like to know just what it is I am contributing to. You have done much in the way of facilitating their endeavors. And so I will speak a word on your behalf. My one caution, and I have been doing this long enough to share it, Anyone, anyone who works from the shadows does so only because they must. In the face of looming danger, for example, by working alongside them, we have invited the danger to our door. And we must be very careful not to let it in. This is no contract. It is a favor. I do not wish for you to be upset. I took the contract, so I will see it through. I am not upset, Basim. I simply cannot understand why you overlook your own interests to serve theirs. You owe nothing to anyone but yourself. Remember that. This is no contract. It is a favor. I do not work for scraps. What was the final tally of what we received? Sixteen crates. One chest, half a dozen satchels. Only three crates remain, last time I checked the ledger. Give their handlers until tomorrow evening. If they don't show by then, we must assume they've forgotten about their wares. Open them up. Keep whatever catches our eyes. Dump the rest. Wait here. If I am seen, I will have to flee. Good thing I can outrun these sagging guards.
locked. A minor delay. be what I'm looking for. I wonder what secrets this ledger holds. Maybe I can get the old Grouser Derwish to squeeze a hint out of our contact.
still in one piece, I see. It was all too easy. Ugh. How the stench of pride seeps from your pores. We could use some eyes around the city. I'll see what I can do. She looks important. You should haggle for a better fish. Oh, Basim, what timing? Did you get it? Without a fuss. Give it here. You are one of them. There. It looks as though it was delivered this morning. You're certain it is the chest you seek? I am certain. Hey, the boy. You need something stolen? I am your man. Durwish can attest. He has given me all your contracts. Then you have done your part. I can do more. Two of my best men died in this pursuit. I doubt a street thief would fare much better. Then let me join you. You have two openings. We should take off this thief with that insult. Thank you, Darwish. Listen here, Basim. You want to keep working for me? You keep your head down and your mouth shut. <laughs> Why must you embarrass yourself like that? Like what? Like a beggar. Desperate for them to notice you. Desperate? Nihal, I am good at what I do. That woman would be lucky to have me. But she does not want you. You are a street thief with dirty feet. So why bother? Why keep pushing yourself down this path? Because being a street thief is not the peak of my ambition. I have more to offer this world than my nimble fingers. They just cannot see it yet. Almost, <laughs> Jessup. <laughs> What is this? Aha! Uh -huh. This is my latest creation. It helps me fend off angry merchants when they... Uh, catch me digging around their wares. I will consider myself spared. You smell foul. What is that? Ta! <coughs> we have been fishing at the harbor since morning. Terrible luck, though. The harbor? Did you happen to see or hear any fuss over a chest? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, a black one. Very beautiful. Some burly guards took it with them to the palace. Shukran laka ya jasim. What are you doing? They want that chest, and I am going to get it for them. Then they will see. There is just no getting through to you, is there? Then we will do this together. If you get caught at the Winter Palace, they will kill you on sight. We will need a safe way in. And I know where we might scout one. That is if you can bear to follow my lead for a change. You do not have to get involved, Nihal. I know your feelings on this. It is utterly foolish. But it seems I cannot stop you. So I will come with and nag you until you decide to abandon the idea of stealing a chest from the Khalifa's Winter Palace. When you say it like that, it only excites me further. Are we going or not? Lead the way. This is a mad plan, Basim. Even if you were to succeed and they welcome you into their ranks, what then? Will you forget about us? Of course not. Nihal, their interests are our interests. You, me, and every other street dweller who has been cast aside. Living off scraps and dirty water. I can be an instrument that sees us out of that life. That sees that Jasip can use his talents to be a real craftsman that sees that good men are not cast aside as my father was. And no children left wondering 
What tomorrow will bring? I hear what you are saying, Basim. But you paint a portrait of a world that cannot exist. That is where we disagree. There it is, the Winter Palace. Come, this way. Right behind you. Here. Let us wait for nightfall. Does where you stand not awaken fond memories? Not so long ago we were counting our spoils up here, under the cover of night. Just like this. The stakes were lower then. And so too was the prize. Well, before you claim your prize, you will first have to reach it. As far as I can see, that will take some creativity. We could always try the front gate. You will have to let me know how that goes for you. Where are you going? I've had a clever thought. If your mind is absent of one, you should perhaps follow mine. Wait! It's dark enough. Costumes. Jiggle mouth shut. <laughs> Only in my trouble. Why dress that way, Zora? Ah, good. This door may lead us inside. Not without a key, it won't. <laughs> Have a look around.
off. Keep quiet now. No groaning. Any luck finding a key? The Khalifa appears unsettled. An unruly son is not helping matters. The young man is eager. It's his first time in the palace, is it not? Let him wander, I say. Cater to his needs. Come. Through there, the Khalifa awaits you. They have arrived, Maulay. Out, all of you. I am to meet with them alone. Father, let me stay. Take him. Looks heavy. We'll never get it out of the palace. Then I will just have to take what is inside. Gentlemen, welcome. Everything is in order. I understand this means a great deal to you. Rest assured, it will be well protected here. We will accept nothing less. We will carry out our work and return to you when we are ready. Be prepared, Khalifa. Uh, might I see it once? The contents. If we are to guard this with our lives, we should know... <laughs> you saw nothing of this. You say... Nothing. Do you understand? Yes, of course. Perish the idea. Now is our chance. Someone is coming. This way. Looks quiet. I never thought I'd set foot in here. Just look at these arches. You could chisel off a piece and sell it for a hoard of gold. You didn't happen to bring a pickaxe, did you? I will keep it in mind for the next time. All right, Basim. Open. Snatch. Run. Basim, hurry. Give me that. No, 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 no. 
Oh. Do you have any idea what they will do to me? Please, I, I am sorry. This, this is your fault. Stop! Please! You thieving little rat! No! Run! Nihal, wait! Fare! Get that boy! you to tell me about this. I do not know what you mean. Tell me what happened. Silence is not your ally here. It is not silence. I cannot explain what I saw. That object did something to me. I was somewhere else, cold and 
frightened. Before I knew it, the Khalifa had his hands around my neck. I... It was an accident. I did not mean for... Just wanted to help. We need to get you out of here. I have a boat at the Western Docks. What? No, I, I cannot leave. I need to find Nihal. Stop and think, Basim. The Khalifa's guard is searching for his murderer. A young thief of your description. They will not stop until they have found you. And when they do, it will not be a prison they throw you into. It will be a shallow grave. I'm giving you a second chance. Take it. Nihal, Durwish, they are all in danger. Soldiers are hunting all who look like me.
What are you doing? New day, another test. I should get back. Alamud fortress takes my breath away. As if it leaped out of the hikayat I heard when I was a child. If you do not have faith in yourself, then who will? There you are. Are you ready? I, uh, I think so. Put yesterday out of your mind. It has no bearing on today. Get dressed and we can begin. Basim, like we practiced. Yes, Master. Training. Steady, Basim. Steady. Leave! No! Yes, Master! I've seen enough. We will try again tomorrow. I... I felt fine. I can see it in your body. You lose focus too easily. The leap of faith is a crucial step on your path to initiation. It is one of the Brotherhood's first and most sacred rites. To perform it successfully, you must first center your mind, body, and spirit. Embrace the fear, quiet it, find a stillness, and let go. Yes, Master. Let's return to the camp. May I ask you something? You may. <laughs> Back in Anbar, at the palace, I witnessed a meeting between the Khalifa and five masked men. 
Order members, the Khalifa was meant to protect the object they discovered, but he knew nothing of their plans for it. He did not even know them by name. How does the most powerful man in Baghdad bend such a fearful knee to the faceless? The Order has held dominion over such men and their empires for centuries by convincing them of their truth that they are the natural arbiters of the world. The Khalifa was but their puppet. And the same will be true of whomever succeeds him. The entire Khalifa is under their influence. Basim, speak with Fulav and see if he needs help. We will continue your training later. Yes, Master. Stop that at once. Have you seen the Rehan in camp? He is preparing to receive the Tahari emissary, Master. Thank you. Good day, Tepid. Hello, Basim. What troubles you? Truthfully, I am frustrated. The Order has only grown stronger in Baghdad since the death of the Khalifa, and we are stuck on this mountain. Mentor Raihan surely knows what he is doing. Maybe I should trust more. Have you seen Fulad? Probably at his office, as usual. Anyways, I must get back to work. Araka lahikan. Ah, what is this in the corner? Here, a small design. It is my signature. So you know I created this, and not Al Hassan, or worse, Abu Jafar. I just you understand, Wadan. Ah, Basim, how are you? Yes, Enkidu, food is coming. He is intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. Reminds me of someone. Have you been speaking to Master Roshan? Have patience. Be kind to your progress. I will take this to heart. Roshan asked me to come see you. Ah, yes. Rebecca needs leather strips. Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I shall, Fulad. Raka Lahekan. Rebecca needs leather strips from the camp storehouse. I must find those for her. That is not it. No, that is not a strip of leather. It is hard to find anything in here. within the Caliphate are beginning to put pressure on us. Forces? You mean the Order, Rabban? I... can only speak of what I know, Your Sardari. The Caliph wishes to nullify the rebels, and if you persist in giving them support, we cannot assure you protection from any Caliphate response. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Without them, we are blind. Be that as it may, Governor Muhammad is very committed to showing that he can end this rebellion swiftly. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I came to warn you. 
Things are moving fast in Baghdad. We may have to act sooner than expected. I hear you, Arban. So the Tahirids who govern these lands are the only thing standing between Alamut and the full-scale attack. A fragile peace. How long will it last? How does construction go? Uh, it is taking longer than we expected, Yasaidi. That must be frustrating. Uh, Mentor Ryan is a wise man, but he speaks of this mountain as if it was destined that we build here. We have patience and follow his guidance. Master Roshan tells me I must not be in a hurry to rush back to Medina as Salam. I would not hurry at all. Baghdad is different now. It is very dangerous. Rebecca? Basim, Basim. Are you just wandering the camp aimlessly now? No, I have this leather for you. Will it do? Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. Here is your dagger. And your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. This blade has character. Why would I make anything less than unique? I am in your debt. I was not expecting new weapons today. Repay me by using it on the order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. Roshan said you had further training today. Show her that new sword of yours. I look forward to it. How does training go, Yasodiki? Nor showed me a new way to grip my knife, and it has improved my accuracy greatly. If you throw it just so, it sails through the air, swift and true. Shall I remind you how to use a knife? Ya yeah, Elahi, well done. You have inspired me to train harder. This is the way, Yasodi.
Assalamu alaikum, alaykum, ya sadiqi. Wa alaykum assalam. Did Fulaf send you? No, he did not. And you're not here to help move these rocks? I am quite sure that was not me. I do not mean to be rude, but I have no time to talk. I must figure this out. I will leave you to it then. Good work. Until tomorrow. Basim, time for combat training. I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. Is a sword not a coarse weapon for a hidden one? As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. Anyone can wield a sword. But how would you use it? I am here to learn that, Master. Are you truly here? Well, yes. I believe so. You are here in body. But are you here in mind and soul? Is this a riddle? No. It is the difference between life and death. Make sure you target and circle around me. Never turn your back on your opponent. What are you doing? Are you trying to get stabbed in the back? Show me your quick stabs first. Good. There are times when we must put more force into our attack to cause more damage. It will leave you exposed, so time it properly. Now go! That's it! Come in strong. Excellent! Now, for defense. You can parry the attacks of your opponent. After a few successful parries, your opponent will be stunned. Try to parry my attacks. Yes! That's good! Excellent. Some attacks cannot be parried and must be dodged instead. Prepare yourself. Good work. That's the way. Well done. Now, let us try a free fight together. Use what you've learned. That took me by surprise. Well done. Where did that come from? We 
are done for today, Basim. Why must we stop? I learned nothing from failing. True learning requires action and stillness in equal parts. You have made the action. Now, seek the stillness. Do not rush your training. Be patient. Failure is a part of progress. Think on these words and come back better. Yes, Master. I will. Good. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>